Welcome to Homeschool SkedTrack School Setup video tutorial. In this tutorial, I will help you set up your homeschool basic information. We will use the account of Jane Doe as a teacher who has just completed her registration in Homeschool SkedTrack. She enters her login ID and password. When Jane Doe registered at Homeschool SkedTrack, a teacher account was created. The default page is a Today Daily Schedule page. We will elaborate on this page in the next tutorial. At the top right corner of every page, you will see the application context. The application context is a school year and the student you have selected. This will be explained more later. As you can see, the school year, teacher name, student name, and the grade level of the student are displayed here. To customize this information for your homeschool, go to Admin. All the tabs under Admin are for managing your homeschool. These tabs are only accessible to the teacher. Let us go through all these tabs one after the other. The first tab is the school. Only the school name is required. A homeschool name of My Academy was provided. All other information is optional and would appear only in the reports and the homepage. Enter the name of your homeschool, Doe Homeschool, and go back to this page later for the other information. Save changes. Second, go to Teacher to edit the teacher's name Modify Me. Edit the teacher's name. Jane for the first name and Doe for the last name. Typing in the last name is optional. Note that the email address and the password fields are already set. Save. Notice that the teacher's name is now Jane Doe. Third, go to Students to edit the student name. Click Edit. Type first name, John, and then last name Doe. Again, last name is not required. For now, let us allow the student to log in only from the switch user page. So, we leave the login ID and password fields blank. I will show you later how the switch user works. All the other information for the student is not required. Save. Add more students by clicking New. And then add your next student. Let's say we add Rachel Doe. Do not forget to save. If you have more, just do the same thing again until you have listed all your students. Next, go to School Years to edit the school year provided. The school year has a default date range of one full year starting with the last Monday in August. Click Edit. For example, you want to make school year 2008-2009. You can edit the name to 2008-2009 and change the start date to August 25, 2008 and the end date to June 12, 2009. Days off are days you won't have school. For now, days off set is zero because we did not set this yet. Putting your mouse over the green dot will give you more information. Days off is a total number of holidays, vacations, or other days off set for the year. This value is set in the admin days off page. This will be explained further in the Terms and Days of video tutorial. The required school days defaults to 180 days. Select the days you will hold school. Let's choose Monday to Friday. Calculate three days to know your options as displayed in a dialog box. So for this date range, you have possible school days of 210, days of set 0, and required school days of 180. For this setup, you have 30 days free. You can use these free days for your days off. Click OK to exit the dialog box. 
save changes. Next, go to Enrollments to edit the correct grade level. Notice that it defaults to first student John already enrolled for this school year. Edit. Choose the correct grade level for John. Let's say he is in 7th grade. You can then select the grading system that you want. For example, we choose ABC grading scale and the number of class hours be 5.5 hours per day. Save. What we are doing is enrolling your students for this school year. Enroll the next student by clicking New. Choose Rachel in third grade. Select ABC for the grading scale and 4 for the class hours. Save. As you can see on the top right, you now have the correct application context. School year, 2008-2009. Teacher, Jane Doe. Student, John Doe, who is in 7th grade. This means that you are on 2008-2009 and all the student-related tabs, namely today, activities, tests, courses, and reports are for John. The student drop-down will show you the other students enrolled in this school year. If you select Rachel, the student-related tabs will now be for Rachel. When you switch user, you will find that all your students can log in. Click on Secure Login for John and you will see that John can access all tabs except admin. You can go back to your teacher account at any time by simply using the Switch User page. Congratulations! You have just completed the School Setup video tutorial. You are now ready to edit the course and to add more courses and activities explained in the Add, Edit Courses and Activities video tutorial.